Hey, Steve Mignon here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Bernardston Auto Wrecking in Bernardston, Massachusetts. Now, we all know and love the Ford Econline van, first seen in 1961 uh, through 67, six-cylinder only, you know, half-tonners, kind of a heavy half. Well, the second gen, 68 and a half through 74, well, kind of grew from strength to strength. Finally got a V8 in it, but this is a third generation. This is a 1978, but let's call this one a muscle van. Why? Well, to do that, we look here on the rear door, the word trailer special. And this is a very unusual van. This one is equipped to, to, to haul as much as nine tons GVW van and trailer combined. So this is a heavy duty E250 series van. And again, we look at this logo right here. It's kind of cool, trailer special. And this indicates heavy suspension, bigger brakes, uh, upsized electrical system, but notice how the uh, contour of the United States right there. In other words, this thing's ready to go coast to coast, pulling whatever you want. And we'll dig in more on this thing here. But in the back, uh, let's take a look and see. Miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, this one has, uh, it's commodious inside. This might have had seats in it. You could get the trailer special with or without the passenger interior. And it's interesting, look at this, a little irony, those red doors, those are from a first generation Econoline van. Again, 1961 through 67, strictly six cylinders, strictly half ton. Again, it was a he heavy half, but nothing like uh, the uh, second and third gens. Now these third gens are unique in many ways. And, oh, well, we have a little friend here, look at this. It's, Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse right here. You never know what you're gonna find in a, in a, in a junkyard situation. Rest in peace, little friend. But uh, one thing that's cool, by the way, about these is that the rear doors swing out, but if you need even more swing, there's a pin right in here that you can remove. Now this ordinarily, this little strap here, keeps the door from going too far. But if you wanna go further, pull this out, and the doors can go way deeper, way farther. Now that tree's kind of in the way, but these little pins that a lot of people don't realize. Now a lot of these trailer special vans do come with special wiring harnesses that are ready to feed the brake lights on a trailer. And these even have heavy duty flashers and brake light switches to accommodate the electrical load of the van and the trailer behind it. Uh, and that trailer could well be a mobile home or uh, a car trailer, you name it, but up to nine tons total weight on these things. Now this one is a long wheel wheelbase van. Uh, the super van, which actually had a little caboose added to the back, would come a couple years later. This is 78. Again, first year 1975 for this third gen. But the thing that makes these so suitable to trailering is that the third generation Ford Econlines went to a body on frame construction. The Gen 2s like this one here, these are unit construction. With that said, the bones under these things could only ma be made so strong. Whereas the third gen's truly an F-250 pickup truck with a body added to it. So these things have a massive frame. Now here we see the F-250's Dana 60 rear axle with full floating hubs right here, uh, eight lug wheels, 16 and a half inch tires and rims. These are way bigger than the five lug nine inch rear axle seen on the E-150 half ton van. But this is kind of the big dog. Now, speaking of muscle, these vans, up till about 1981, can't be identified by model year according to the VIN. There's no specific character. Instead, you go to a stack of the serial number, which will tell you what year, but this one we know it's a 78. But with that said, the engine is identified. Now here's the sticker, the VIN sticker right here. Now I say sticker because after 1970, these darn stickers arrived, which we can see they delaminate, they peel. 69 and before, this was metal, but here we see the magical A in the fourth spot, that A. 460 big block muscle. Look right here to your left, and there it is, the 460, same engine you could get in a Lincoln Continental or a big Ford LTD Country Squire wagon was part of this E250. Now it's kind of cool inside, details we see on this one, the twin tanks, this has a 41 gallon capacity. Here's the main and auxiliary fuel tanks toggle switch right here to go from one or the other right there. And again, 41 gallon capacity at 460 at 11 miles to the gallon. Man, uh, at least you could go a couple hundred miles instead of only a hundred, you know. Anyway, this one does have the 80 mile an hour speedometer. For the first time in 1978, the metric secondary character is 130 kilometers, 120. Those things were added in 78, seen here for the first time. This does have, as part of the trailer special, mechanical gauges for oil pressure and temperature and charging. That's all stuff that would be an idiot light on the basic non-trailer special van. This does have cruise control. See right here, so you could hit cruise and head down uh, you know, I-40 all the way out through Texas at 75, 80 miles per hour. Just don't get caught, because again, the national speed limit was 55 at this point in time. 
but this does have the captain's chairs and kind of cool. You never know what you're going to find in the junkyard. A 340 Mopar air cleaner lid right here. I don't know what this came off of. That's not a reproduction. Kind of cool. A little treasure inside. But getting back to this particular van, this is Motor Trend magazine here, November of 77. And here it is right here. Motor Trend's Truck of the Year nominees. And we see inside of this. And again, this is the first time that Motor Trend ever did Truck of the Year. Before this, it was Car of the Year. But we can see right here on the left, vans. There's the Econ line right there. And a little spoiler alert, it won. 1978 Van of the Year. Motor Trend awarded this very vehicle that we're standing next to uh, over the Dodge and the Chevy and the GMC and all those other vehicles, the Econoline van was Motor Trend's truck of the year for 1978. Started right here. But again, the beauty of this thing is really under the hood. Uh, as we make our way here is those massive front disc brakes, front sway bar, part of the trailer special package. And, um, and again, the thing that made the third generation Ford vans really unique was this out front design. Literally, this whole proboscis here, which is about half the length of an of F-Series pickup truck hood, uh, was uh, it was doubled up. If you look over here, this is a second gen Econ line. And again, this is 68 and a half through 74. And this opening hood right here was an industry first. 1968 and a half Ford Econ line introduced the opening hood. Before this, Chevy, Ford, GMC, and Dodge vans didn't have hoods. In fact, they were flush nose vehicles. But for 75, the third gen, Ford took it all away with this massive proboscis. But the point of that was to get the engine cover and engine out of the way. Truly, they shoved it way forward. And you could walk right to the back without going around that doghouse. It would be a problem on a Gen 2s and especially on a Gen 1s. But again, this one here being a trailer special under the hood. Let's take a peek. And there's that big 460. And I think in 78, this would have had something like 215 or 220 horse, something like that. Net power, but again, loads of torque. And this would have, of course, had a four barrel carburetor. And in the trailer special, 110 amp alternator, the big monster down there. And again, that alternator had to make electricity, not just for the van, but also for the brakes and the lights on the trailer at night. So this is basically heavy, heavy duty, uh, the trailer special. Now this one does have round headlights. We can see them right here. And those round headlights were part of the picture from 75 through 78 and 79, Ford went to uh, rectangular headlights on the fronts of their E-Series vans. But again, one of the problems again with these things is that there's no VIN code for the actual model year till 1981 on this family of Ford van. But again, you can check it in the service manual by the VIN stack, this real number. But again, this is 78, we know that uh, for a variety of small reasons. But uh, the twin tanks on this, who are having 41 gallons. And the nice thing about this is that Ford kindly put both uh, fillers on the driver's side. Here's uh, the primary tank and the secondary in the back right there. And unlike certain GM vehicles where one tank uh, filler was on the passenger side, one was on the driver. The problem with that is that when you pull up to the gas pump, you had to actually pick up, move around, turn the truck around to fill the other side, which when you were on your way, somebody would pop in your spot, you had a fight. But with this, no problem at all. So here we have it, man, a 460-powered Dana rear axle, C6, heavy-duty, tranny cooler, engine cooler, uh, heavy-duty muscle van, and yeah, they made them. Now, the crazy thing on this one is that nobody apparently ever utilized it for pulling a trailer because I don't see the Class 4 hitch at the back, which you'd think would be you know, standard equipment. There should be a big old square right there receiver, but I don't see it. It's possible. Somebody said, I want to have a 460 van and here's how to get it. So a muscle van trailer special, kind of a rare package right here, only at Berniston Auto Wrecking. Now, if you like Ford Econolines, well, that Series 2 Econoline right there, that's a super van. What's that? We'll come back tomorrow. We'll tell you all about it. Until then, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel and we'll be back tomorrow with more Junkyard Crawl here at Berniston Auto Wrecking.